Hey church, my name is Brendan Heffernan. I'm the youth pastor here at LifeBridge. Over the last month or so, we've seen our nation erupt and even around the world, people speak out against racial injustice. And if you're like me, and if you are wanting to seek the Lord in all things of your life, it's important for us to ask the question, how do we respond? What do we do? We've seen the brutal killings of Ahmaud Arbery, George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and people speaking out that this racial injustice must stop. And so for us as a church, the call is racial reconciliation. The thing for us to engage in is racial reconciliation. And you might be asking, what is racial reconciliation? It's seeking the Lord for his correction, for his word to be fixing what's wrong and what's going on. And it's crossing boundaries and lines for us to be unified in the gospel. And so today, our response in what in light of what's going on, I believe, and for us as a leadership, we've talked about this, it's lament. Lament is us seeking the Lord on behalf of injustice to say, God, would you be near to this? Would you invade our world and give us peace? Would you give us the roadmap of how to follow you during these times? It's to be broken over the injustice that we see around us. And so today we're going to spend some time in lament, lamenting what we see going on in our world. And I know this is a hot topic kind of button pushing issue. However, we believe it's very clear that we as Christians need to lament over brokenness, need to feel the hurts of those who have been, who've been treated unfairly around us. Just like Mark had shared before about you know the good Samaritan, to not just walk by the man who's in the gutter who's been beaten up, but to feel his pain and to step in and to sympathize and to do something about it. And so our, our first step, our action call now is to sit in the hurt and the brokenness that people are experiencing. So today we're going to spend some time in a lament prayer. What we're going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to pray and I'm going to say the words, God of all mercy. And I would just ask that you respond, hear our prayer. It's a call and response prayer. And so we're going to spend some time lamenting the brokenness that we see around us in our world today. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing us to come before your throne and that you allow us to bring our request to you. We cry out to you today in brokenness for those who face racial injustice, those who you made in your image. We make these requests to you out of our lament. For the families of those killed out of racial injustice, be near to them and bring them your peace. God of all mercy, hear our prayer. For victims of violence all over our nation, would you heal, preserve, and protect? And for perpetrators of violence, would they repent? God of all mercy, hear our prayer. For the disunity in our communities that divide people which you love equally, would you unite us under your love? God of all mercy, hear our prayer. For the protesters, police, judges, juries, sufferers, and culprits, would the gospel invade their lives and their hearts? God of all mercy, hear our prayer. For people of color here in America who've been belittled and prejudice has harmed their lives, would you show them their worth which you gave them at their conception? God of all mercy, hear our prayer. For the people of LifeBridge, would we shine your love to all people regardless of divide? For your word commands us to be known by our love. God of all mercy, hear our prayer. For the humility of our hearts, would we be open to your correction and pruning, knowing we are far from perfect and need to be sharpened every day. God of all mercy, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we make these requests known to you, broken by injustice, crying out for your justice. We believe that you are merciful and just, and that you've made yourself known through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.